Hello. So I just want to do a quick video on VCAs. Now, it's something that we get told when we're watching YouTube videos and we're thinking about buying our first system, you can't have enough VCAs, you can never have enough VCAs. Now, I'd like to argue differently in a small system like this. And the answer is, it depends. Now, before I start, I just want to give a quick shout out to Tendrils. Not sponsored by them, they're not paying me any money, but I've recently just started buying them and I wanted to just show you this. Now, I didn't think this would be a good cable. Most of my cables are like this. I've got nice braided cables, they're nice and heavy, they'll last a long time. These you'd think are a bit thin, will they last? I'm not sure I like the angles, but they're really, really good. When you plug them in, you can actually see what you're doing. The cables lay flat. They're usually out the way. If that's in the way there, I can always just move it around, put it up there, have it go anywhere, tie them together. Um, you'd think that they'd get in the way of the holes here, but they generally just don't. You can put them at angles. They're great. And they just lay out the way. They're nice and thin. I'm going to be buying some more. So yeah, good shout out to Tendrils. Same price as anything else. Like I said, I'm not sponsored. and They're not paying me anything for this, but I'll definitely be buying some more of these. So anyway, on to VCAs. So here in, in this small system, I have this huge quad VCA. It's completely overkill for this. Um, I bought it because I wanted a mixer. I had two or three voices. Can you really fit two or three voices in here? No, not really. I'd only recommend having one voice, a lot of modulation, um, envelopes, sequencer, some effects, some kind of mixer, clock, and a malt. So the IntelliGel palette pretty much fits everyone's needs when you're first starting out. It is a little bit small. It's not the best value for money. Here in the UK, it's about £300, and for £300, you can get a much bigger, but I would argue not as good case as this. So, firstly, why do we need a VCA? So if we start with a standard oscillator like Chainsaw, it comes out full volume, no way of controlling that volume. You've got to be able to modulate that volume, and for that, you need a VCA. So let's assume that this is one VCA. We're just going to use channel four here. So I'm going to send the output into my mixer on channel four. That's going off screen. And then let's plug the output of this into channel four and I can control it with this. Nice and simple. So if you had a mixer, you could just mix your channels together. But in this case, we need to be able to create a note. So in order to create a note, if you had a keyboard, for example, you would the note would go up very fast, and then as you let go, it'd probably come down quite gently. And for that, you need an envelope. So it would sound something like this. So we need to pass in voltage that simulates that into the voltage. In order to do that, we need an envelope. Now, I have an envelope here called Javelin. It's quite a fully featured envelope. Um, it actually has a built-in VCA as well, So, but we're not gonna use that. We're just gonna use the simple envelope out here. So let's take the output of this envelope, plug it into the VCA. Now, whenever I trigger this, it's gonna have a very quick attack, standard sustain, and a fairly long release. And that will go out here. Now, I've set initial volume is zero, so we don't hear anything, and the attenuation is all the way down, so nothing will happen. So even when I put this into looping mode here, you can see the voltage is rising, falling, rising, falling, but we have nothing. Now, if I turn this up, you'll see the little green light come on here, which will increase the volume. And that, in a nutshell, is why we need a VCA. You can create notes from oscillators. Now, I would argue 
that's a lot of HP. Ignoring, even if we ignore the filter here, that's a lot of HP in such a small case. Now you can get little tiny uh, one new VCAs that fit down uh, down in this row. So yeah, you could put a small VCA in a case like this, but if you have a fully functioning voice like Manus Iteritas here, you don't actually need it. So let's unplug this and have a look at Manus. Now Manus, if you can see here, has an envelope. Now if we open that envelope all the way up, it stays on, so it behaves just like chainsaws. So if we take the output, plug that in here. Now all we need to do is use this as a mixer. There we have a note. And I could treat it exactly the same as chainsaw. Plug an envelope into here, increase the attenuation till we get a note. And that behaves exactly the same as chainsaw. But why bother when we've got our own envelope here? We don't need this. So let's take this out. Anything off maximum gives us an envelope like we had on the javelin. So just reduce that a bit. Now whenever this receives a, a gate trigger, the envelope will fire, volume will increase, volume will go back down. So when I use this hit button, we'll get volume. But only obviously if we have some volume being allowed through the VCA, because now we're not controlling it here, we have to have volume. So we'll have to turn that up. Let's see. Is that loud enough? It goes through the envelope, straight into what is now just a mixer, it's just an output level, and we don't need the envelope anymore. Now another benefit of something like a full voice like Manus is it has a built-in filter. So rather than needing this separate filter, we can So you can see the benefits of something like Manus Eteritas in a case like this. Now, it all depends what you want to do with your mono synth. You know, if you want a mono synth that's very mellow with notes like this, Manus can do mellow. But when you start modulating Manus, it can very quickly get, get get very, very out of control. So, you know, what do you want? Do you want something very super sorry and straightforward like the chainsaw? In which case, you need your envelopes, you need your separate filters, you need your VCAs. Or do you want something like Manus? Um, noise engineering, some great modules they do. Um, lots of different alternatives. You could get uh, Basimilus instead of Manus here. Uh, Basimilus doesn't have a fully open fully open envelope like that but other than that it has similar sorts of modulation it gives you um, I would say more melodic notes than this because this is using a saw I think so this can get very very noisy very quickly whereas BIA is more of a drum synth but you get some very nice melodies out of it if you want so I would definitely recommend BIA or Manus in here but BIA BIA does not have the filter. It has the envelope, but no filter. So, you know, it depends how much HP you want to use. Okay, so that in the nutshell is why I would recommend in a case like this, depending on the voice that you have, you don't necessarily need a VCA. You can always have two voices and then just use a simple mixer, which taking up less space, you can't attenuate the volumes on a mixer. All you can do is just mix them together yourself. But if that's all you need to go to your output, then that is probably overkill for this case. Okay. So that sums up um, VCAs. Just to quickly finish off here, the reason I would say to have a full voice and use a small amount of HP with it 
is because you really do need some good CV modulation. Now, something like uh, Mimetic here allows you to create a 16, up to 16 step random um, CV modulation, which when you plug them into something like Manus, you can get some really, really good effects. Um, a quantizer, as long as you don't go too manic on here, then your quantizer going into the pitch will give you some some nice sounding uh, bass lines again as long as you don't go too manic on it you can get some nice bass lines and of course you need some effects so i've done a couple of videos of patch from scratch before in this case but i'm going to do another one i'll probably take out the quad vca and try something else which is full voice so if we just look up some examples of other full voices that we've got here so the Laqualic is a the Laqualic is a full voice. Uh Basimilus is a full voice. And other ones that I quite like are if we look up here, if the camera will go that high, we have plats and rings, which again, now plats you can just take the output and it will give you a continuous note like a normal oscillator. But if you plug something into the bottom left into the trig then it has a built-in uh, VCA. Uh, I think it might be a low-pass gate, but yeah, let's not split hers. Um, so yeah, again, you can save some HP with some of these modules. Okay.